You're here at the Brooke Larson Freshman Drawing Portrait Show at the School of Visual Arts on 21st Street in New York City. looking at a self-portrait of Matthews. They work from a photograph that I have taken of them in the fall term. Initially when he started out he was uh, in a sense not very successful with taking the information from the photograph but as he progressed up he did achieve an understanding of how to manipulate his mark within the media that he chose to work with and ended up not only with a likeness, but a feeling of himself. Anthony, if you haven't already guessed, is a tall guy. He actually cut out some of these sections to redo them. This is now the second time that's happened. One of the things that is important about all of these is the variations and the changes and the surprises that take place. Because this is done over a long period of time and is done so slowly that when you get up into this area you can see how this eyebrow and these strokes here are so much more expressive and exciting than this eye. And to be able to accomplish that in your work and see that variation is terrific. Chi Hun's piece here is unique because it was done in two inch squares not on this piece of paper, but coded and separately and was not seen until a group of them were completed. So in other words, it was almost it became like a mystery drawing. Each one of these drawings is based on starting from the bottom and going to the top. Each student is encouraged to pick a different material, a different mark, a different approach, and each is encouraged to evaluate what they accomplished in that square and move on to the next. They cannot go backwards. They cannot return to a square once they have moved on to the next. Sophia, in this, the marks that she used were small pencil circles. Each one of these little circles is hand drawn. Just like this. Some of these have expanded on the idea of the same mark. Here, Kaylee has done that. I think that she has interpreted each of these spaces in a particularly successful way, and it has a sparkle, a cheer, a, a brightness to it. Every year there's a change that I haven't planned on, or I haven't planned for. Elizabeth you will notice her piece is substantially smaller because the paper she wanted to work on only came this size. She decided to shrink the scale of the entire image itself down and I think she did a very successful job. Ding turned his hand into a rubber stamp or the equivalent of it where he would use the palm of his hand putting paint on it in reverse, attempting to reproduce the image of that particular square, and then placed his hand onto the paper. Ben is a cartoon major. He wanted to keep that, the flavor of his mark-making cartoon-like. Here are all these little circles. They're like little bulbs that are sitting up. The same way that, you know, if you've ever cleaned a fish, you know how the fish scales scrape off. And he's changed the angle of these and the perspective of the way he's drawn, making them larger and smaller and creating a perfect allusion to three-dimensional imagery on a two-dimensional surface. Jay Young's, it's always nice to have a piece that defies description. 
And this particular mark defies description in terms of how he managed to put these geometric forms, these small, like almost like series of frames, stacked in a three-dimensional manner, some in front of, some behind, making some darker, some lighter, some with more lines and so forth, and create the illusion to the face. Maxwell is the first person who wanted to do it larger in almost 15 years of this project, and it involved some engineering and mathematical feats of figuring out the sizes of the individual pieces of paper, which there are six, and how they would overlap, and how he would be able to transport them back and forth from where he was doing a lot of the work to the classroom. Zach chose a geometric mark. He chose to work in black and white, each one of these squares is divided into horizontal and vertical lines, and each one is filled in individually. So as you can see this pattern here, each one of these small squares is filled in with a very small pen with black ink individually. So it is, in a sense, the mark itself is a grid network of two inches by two inches.